Hey everyone, I'm Janice Higgins. I'm a senior executive director with Monet Global. I have been in the corporate world for over 22 years and just these last three and a half years, I have went into the hair care industry, helping people have amazing hair and just feel wonderful about themselves. Um, one of the main questions that is brought up to me when people come to me on their hair seeking help is the number one concern would be hair loss. You know, why am I going through hair loss? Why am I shedding? Why is this happening to me? And when we were in San Francisco for a leadership summit. We had some, we had our doctors actually there. We actually have five doctors on board with us that back us up and, um, and basically um, help formulate our products. They use it, they also use it within their medical facility. And their names are Dr. Brent Agen, Dr. Amy S. Ross, Jamie S. Ross, Dr. Kevin D. Smith and Dr. Antonella Tosti. So there are our five doctors that um, support us, back us up, formulate the products. And what I want to share with you are the things that they actually shared with us at this leadership summit. And I thought it was just a wealth of knowledge and I'd love to share it with all of you guys. Those of you who are having um, hair concerns about hair loss or hair fallout or the shedding process, hopefully this clears things up for you. And I'm gonna read exactly what they said word for word to you guys. So, the truth about hair loss issues from the doctors. So, we asked Dr. Antonella Tosti now, Dr. Antonella, she is affiliated with the University of Miami Hospital. She's a worldwide expert in hair and nail disorders. Annual lecture in the European Academy of Dermatology and Venerology and the American Academy of Dermatology. Author in multiple publications include Dermoscopy of Hair and Scalp Disorders, editor of two textbooks on diagnosis and treatment of hair disorder. So she has a wealth of knowledge and this is definitely her specialty. She specializes in this. So the question that we asked her, what are the main causes of hair loss and can naturally based shampoos and conditioners cause hair loss? This is, this is very interesting. She stated, her words exact, hair loss can be cued by many, many reasons. I always tell my patients that hair loss is like fever. It's just a symptom. Let's look at the common causes. Of course, stress is probably the most important as well as nutritional deficiencies, iron deficiencies, medications. Some vitamins can cause hair loss as well, as well as systemic disorders and inflammatory disorders so many, so when you see a patient with hair loss, you have to really look at the patient itself, analyze their life in these instances. I don't believe that shampoo can generally cause hair loss and it's also very important for patients to understand that hair loss occurs about three months after the triggered event. So if you're experiencing hair loss a few days using a shampoo, that is definitely not the cause. Now, another question. Is there anything we can do to help prevent hair loss? Can eating certain foods help maintain healthy scalp and hair growth? Yes, absolutely. A healthy diet is always important. I tell my patients to eat fruits and vegetables. For instance, a new study shows that men, if you eat fr fresh fruits and vegetables three times a week, you can prevent hair loss. It's also important to try to eat organic foods because certain hormones can be contaminating. Some certain foods, especially chicken and meat.
So now let's go and let's ask Dr. Amy S. Ross a few questions. Dr. Amy Ross is a dermatologist in Brandon, Florida and has been practicing for 10 years. She graduated from Drexel University College of Medicine in 2003 and specializes in dermatology, MOHS, micrographic surgery, and more natural hair shedding. Let's go into what Dr. Amy Ross has to say. These are the questions that we asked her. Natural hair shedding differs from person to person. Can we tell the difference between hair shedding from or hair loss? And what are the basic underlining reasons for hair loss? This is what she has to say. Hair shedding is common. It happens in everyone. It's a function of the natural hair growth cycle. Naturally, we lose up to 100 hairs a day. If you don't shampoo every day, then you could see more shedding during your next wash. The actual shampoo itself does not cause hair to fall out. The number of hairs you lose is, most, is mostly genetics. Temporarily, the number of hairs you lose could be influenced by the things like stress. But remember, it's common to lose up to 100 hairs a day. If you start to lose more than that, you will start to notice thinner than normal spots on your scalp, a wider part line, and perhaps some bald patches. That will help you indicate that you could actually have true hair loss. So if you think you have true hair loss and not just normal shedding or breakage, you should go to and see your dermatologist. Again, the biggest factor of hair loss is stress. It can be emotional stress, something going on at work or something going on in a relationship, anything that is emotionally trying to you. It can actually lead to hair loss. Also one that is common is physical stress. You may not even remember that you had been ill, had a fever, went through a mental hardship, medical procedure, surgical procedure, or perhaps you had a baby. Maybe even the flu. This will cause hair to fall out three, four to five months down the road. Some people won't even remember what they went through that long ago. This type of hair loss is completely reversible and temporary. There are other causes for hair loss, such as thyroid, thyroid dysfunction, iron deficiency, and hereditary that need to be treated. These are more severe cases for hair loss. You do need to seek professional help if you do have hair loss not shedding. Remember your hair grows from your scalp, which is really an extension of your skin on your face. We tend to be really careful and gentle when it comes to taking care of our skin on our face. And we need to remember to be gentle to the skin that is on our scalp because that is what nourishes our hair. So take good care of it. In regards to things that you've heard, about ingredients and products. People are concerned with products and ingredients due to health issues that they currently might even have. The best advice that I can give to you and that these doctors can give to you is don't search the internet. Go to professional and seek out the answers with a professional, not the internet.